Welcome back to today's morning report analysis videos on Wednesday, the 21st of September with me, Richard Bear, market analyst at Handset Markets. Let's see how uh, cable has been affected by the moves this morning. Um, basically, just mildly lower on the day, very slight dollar strength, nothing too significant, but uh, certainly the, the medium term um, sort of trading range on cable remains intact, really, doesn't it? And dropping below 30.60 which is the pivot within that range, I believe now means you're sort of more on the bearish bias. And you look at these momentum indicators, that agrees with it. Um, so the RSI dropping below 40 there or thereabouts, but the stochastic's negatively configured. The MACD line's crossing lower as well. That's not great. Um, and uh, 130.60 is now sort of becoming the base of resistance again. So that pivot is now resistance. Um, overnight... We've had this uh, this sort of drop, or yesterday we had the drop to uh, 29.45 as the reaction low, and then subsequently 30.60 is now sorry 30 figure is becoming the basis of. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, 30.60 has become the basis of resistance overnight, so 30 figure. Um, so any sort of rallies that seem to be continue to be sold into. Uh, look at these uh, hourly momentum on the RSI, hourly RSI. 60 seems to be around sort of mid 50s 50s towards 60 anything in that range is a selling opportunity on the hourly rsi macd lines and now sort of firmly camped below neutral these are also suggestions that the momentum is a negative certainly near term and um below 30 60 I think, which is the pivot, I think you're going to continue to remain that way. But the Fed is the big caveat this evening. Um, you, If you get a hawkish hold, I think that's going to be dollar strength. Dollar strength would be pulling cable lower back towards the bottom of these ranges, um, or this range, 20, uh, 2796 and 2863, are the two key supports from uh, July and August. And I think those could come under pressure tonight if that is the case. If uh, we do get a hawkish hold and the and the market does start to make more of a dollar positive view uh, in the back of that, um, but certainly in front of that meeting, um, cable is looking increasingly negative within this band. This band has not been broken yet, though, um, and it'll be interesting to see if it, the band does break in the wake of the Fed. But um, for now, there is a, a bearish bias within this band. Um, and um, selling into strength remains the way to play cable. But um, obviously the big caveat being at the Fed tonight. So I wish you good luck in your trading, and I'll speak to you later.